What if fairy tales are real tales and real tales are fairy tales? We already seen how some people on this earth could be categorized as werewolves. Some people on this earth could be categorized as elves. Today, we're going to see who the humans are. The humans. The humans are named after a monkey god from India. And I could be pronouncing it wrong, but it's I think it's Hanuman. And he's a god in India. He was close to Rama. They went on some adventures. But if you notice something about his name, how it's spelled, if you take it's spelled H A N U M A N. But if you take the first A and N out of the name, if you drop it, what do you get? You get human. Hmm. Now you might be wondering, how do you figure this human? This is like a monkey. This person has tails, and people on Earth don't have tails. Think again. People on Earth are born with tails. Here's the proof right here. Tail. 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 And they go on and on. So basically, it's in their DNA. So, this monkey king, he's known in India as the mom, as, what's his name? Hanuman. And in China, he's known as the monkey king. But they have a bunch more other when you look at India, they have a bunch of because India always say their history is real history. They say the West like to call their history myths, and Indians always stress our history is real. So if they history is real, which has made me come to the analogy, what if fairy tales are real tales, and we use the movie The Lord of the Rings and or, or other fantasy movies and sci-fi movies that have these so-called monsters that they want us to think not real. What if we are some of us are some of these so-called monsters. What if we are these other beings? And what those movies is showing is true. And we're living the lie. We are being pumped that we're all the same. We're all the same. But when we look at each other, we are not the same. When we look at the culture, we're not the same. We don't eat the same. We don't have the same hobbies. So to get back to this, the Indians in India, they say their history is real. And they have a group of people in Hindu mythology that refer to the monkeys are um, a race of forest dwelling people as the Banara. Banara. And they say this is some real people. Now when you look at the story and you look at the pictures, you see them fighting wars alongside humans. You see them um living in castles. I mean living, you know, living in a palace right there with the king and the prince. But right here, they have one important picture. This picture right here. So if we take their history face value. This picture right here shows a marriage between the um, monkey king and a regular looking human. Now, if they was able to mate and produce a child, was well, some people that we see today with these tails would be how they look which was what we would call the humans but when we compare this neanderthal dna to to various human populations we see that african populations um are kind of our baseline they they are they are they are the most distant from neanderthals there's zero percent similarity to neanderthals um europeans are one to three percent more similar to neanderthals than african populations are and the same is true for, uh, for East Asian populations and for Melanesian populations. So apparently I have more Neanderthal DNA than 84% of other 23andMe uh, customers. So like, has anyone looked into this? What does this even mean? 
Where are my Neanderthals at? And when Homo sapiens arrived in Europe about 40,000 years ago, they encountered another group of humans, the Neanderthals. If we want to really understand what makes humans unique, we need to compare ourselves not only to the, our closest living relatives, the apes in Africa, but to our very closest relatives, the Neanderthals. What are some of the traits of these humans? Um, they're incredible mischief. They're explorers. They want to know how everything works, how it can be turned into a prank. We know who like to do pranks. What culture like to do a lot of pranks and play and like to explore? They want to know how everything works. We call them crazy, but we see it's in their blood. They're lighthearted and playful. They can um, love to inject humans into situations but are able to be unpredictable warriors when circumstances call for it. They agile climbers. Hmm. They like to climb. Who likes to climb? Who like thrills? Who like doing adventures that seem life threatening or if it goes wrong, you're going to die? These are what we will call humans. And these humans, according to Indian history, will be called the Vanara. And we just see pictures, pictures of humans and the Vanara and the similarities. So, Today we have people, it seems like we have people from, like I, always, I said in the last video, all Caucasians are not the same. You have the Caucasians, some of them might be wild wolves. Here we see that some of them might be the Banaras or the Monkey Kings. All Caucasians are not the same because we also see some Indian people with tails and we see some Asian people with tails. So I guess that's why they're the humans and when you look at some of these pictures, they do have different color apes. And if they mix they see with other creatures on here, like let's say a human mixed with a werewolf, what would it produce? Don't know, but I guarantee it's walking around right now because if we can look at each other for what we are and not what they've been telling us as far as race, black, you're white. No, let's look at us, each other as you're an elf, you're a human, you're a werewolf, you're a vampire, you're a hobbit, you're a dwarf. We can break down each, each other. We can understand each other. It wouldn't be more racism. It'll be an understanding that we are different. It wouldn't be, oh, we together, let's get along. It's like we can understand that we are not the same. Uh, we can get to understand each other culture then. Why you eat what you eat. Why you act how you act. If we look at the world in this way, it would make everything makes much more sense. <laughs> Think about it. Think about this also. Like they said in India, their stories is history and it's not mythology. In one of their stories, Rama and the Monkey King and the Monkey King, other monkeys, the uh, Varanas, they built a bridge to connect India and the uh, island Sri Lanka. Something like that. Right? Well, the thing about this island and this bridge is, it exists for real. Here go a picture of it right here. Area view, satellite. This bridge is real. And it looked just like the bridge that the monkeys was building. It's not a fancy bridge, um, like a modern day bridge. It just looked like some stones laid down, but the bridge is real and the builders are unknown so it's the Indian mythology true and are these Varanas are the monkey king the real humans of modern day what do you think